just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Hello everyone! Happy Sunday! Um, it's just Cheyenne and I home right now. Savannah went to stay the night at Evie's house because tomorrow is no school. It's a holiday so yeah she's staying the night over there and I just finished cleaning my room and I'm doing laundry. I'm so happy I'm off tomorrow you guys. I'm so excited and I also got a few things for the kids bathroom. You guys know when I start a new project that's all I talk about because it actually makes me happy doing home repairs and stuff like that. Not home repairs what we call it home upgrade or just making things nicer. I do what I can in my budget. Go on Pinterest to try to find out what I would like and go from there. It's not a big secret on how I want my bathroom but I kind of want to do like a reveal later but I will tell you guys I am going to paint the bathroom their bathroom it's gonna be gray and white I don't know if I'm gonna try to do like not farmhouse but like the rustic look I don't know we'll see but definitely gray and white and the reason why I didn't let the kids choose because it is their bathroom is because when we first moved in here and then when they were younger they wanted a Spongebob bathroom and not all of them agreed on having the same style or the same color or anything like that so that's why I just left the bathroom plain didn't do anything to it and now that they're older I mean Shine and Tyreek they're not well none of them they're not gonna live here forever so I might as well make it into what I want it so that's what I'm doing I am getting their input on certain things though so yeah I'm gonna go do a little things in there tonight and patch up a few holes and I'll show you guys what I mean when I go in there so let me show you guys this is a towel rack that the kids have now and this right here this is actually Gorilla Glue that I put up because it was falling down and apparently it's not screwed into studs just the wall here I don't know if you call it sheetrock or what I don't know anyway so I'm going to take this down and when I do it's going to leave an obvious hole right there. So, what I got at Home Depot today was this, um, I don't even know what you call it, I guess, to patch holes. And then I got sandpaper and I got putty. So, yeah, y'all, I'm about to go to work in here. Okay, so this is the damage. And I should have bought two of these because the pack only came with one. I actually thought this side wouldn't be as bad but it is as you can see it's still like lifted right here I don't want to make it worse so yeah I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done I'm no professional I YouTubed all this and got it on Google and asked around at my church from the guys who know how to do this I actually think it's kind of fun so I'm gonna pack some holes y'all okay and there was a little hole there um, and I patched that up also and once it dries then I'll sand it down and this wall is going, going to be painted completely white but I wanted to show you guys their bathroom before and I made kind of a mess of it because I took stuff off the walls the towel rack and stuff like that and then moved stuff around and this bathroom was this color when I moved in the white walls and then it's like green I know you guys can not really see it from the camera but this is, has a hint of green and then the baseboards are green the door right there is green so all of this is going to be white the baseboards doors and then the walls I will paint that I'm pretty sure this color unless I see something else which I have not gone looking for anything else but I I pretty much like this so I think I'll use that one so I don't think I showed you guys my patch job over here so I put that 
mesh thing right there and put the putty over it. And tomorrow, I'm not gonna do it tonight. Um, or maybe later if I'm up. I have sandpaper so I'll sand it to make it smooth. And the same with this side also. And yeah, I did show you guys this over here. And it's not that great because I didn't buy a perfect brush yet or one of the good brushes that don't leave any streaks like that does right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I just wanted to get the green off the wall. So that's the reason why I went ahead and did it with the ugly paintbrush or not so good paintbrush. But yeah, I painted all that. And I'm not gonna do this door yet. I will wait to get rollers that way. I won't have to worry about um, streaks in it. But yeah, focus. So yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, my day off. I'm so excited. But why am I up out and about? It's not that early, actually. It's um, 11.20. Savannah spent the night at Evie's house, so I'm going to pick her up right now. And then we are going to go get our pottery back from Color Me Mine. I'm really kind of nervous to see mine because I just don't think it turned out very well. Um, Savannah was laughing at me when I was painting it. She said, Mom, all that time you did for one side. It took me a long time to paint one side because I'm not very artsy. And even growing up as a kid, I didn't like art class and stuff like that. So, yeah, I got bored really quick. I mean, it was fun doing it. But after a little bit, I was like, okay, I'm mentally done. But I knew I, could, I had to finish it. So she was like, Mom, you took all that time and that's the creation you came up with yeah so I would hate to have paid for that and not display it so I'll let you guys see don't laugh at me don't judge me because <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be pretty bad but if it looks good I'm sure they probably took it behind the scenes and fixed it I don't know okay let's go get Savannah and then go get our pottery you're gonna really put that there so Savannah's back and we did get our color me mine pottery this is Savannah's the fairy that she painted it came out good Savannah I know. but you only put one coat of paint on, on purpose because it kind of be like oh you wanted it lighter see-through almost <laughs> you wanted the wings to look see-through yeah oh so that's the back of it and the front is cute. it is cute you know what? You painted her skin too, huh? Yeah. That looks really good. Okay, I'm scared to show you guys mine. All right, y'all. This is bad. Look at this. I mean, it is a candle holder. That side looks better than the side that says Faith. But, yeah, that's... Yeah. Have you guys ever been to Color Me Mine? Would you go again? I'd go again, and I... I don't know. This is not that great. Hey everyone, it is Friday. Finally, I've had a long, stressful week, even though Monday was a holiday, and I don't think I vlog since Monday. I don't know, you guys, my seven o'clock mornings that I have to be to work at seven, I just am so exhausted when I get home. I know I get home early, but I don't know, I'm just exhausted, and then when I think about picking up the camera, it's late. It's been a stressful week. So one of the ladies at my job, okay, everything's been going good, everything. But there's one person, one person who I think is kind of intimidated by me. I know, right? Who would be intimidated by me? She knows I come with a lot of experience, but I don't act that way. I don't go in thinking I'm a know-it-all. I mean, I know what I know, but every office runs differently and I have to learn how each office runs that wherever I am. So I don't know, I've never given her any inkling or any idea that hey I'm here to take your job I'm not but I don't know she treat the way she treats me it's it's just totally weird maybe I'll go into depth one day and explain it maybe it's because we're still getting to know each other she's a really nice person but I don't know so I don't want to say anything negative right now anyway so that's the stress that I'm talking about. Other than that, work is good. So Bible study is here tonight, so I just cleaned up a little bit. I got the stuff on the counter right there, stuff that I have to put away, and um, then I'm going to start cooking a little bit later for the ladies' Bible study. Okay, so what had happened was, <laughs> okay, I'm still focusing on the bathroom. That has not changed, but, okay, 
let me go back a little bit. Maybe like last year, a year and a half, two years ago, something like that, Cheyenne redid her room. And when I say redid, meaning she painted her walls and she loved it for a long time and she still loves it. But maybe like two months ago, she was like, mom, I think I want gray walls. I want to change my paint on my walls. We're women, so we're allowed to change our minds. So she brought primer for her walls and like the paint brushes the rollers and stuff like that and she never used it and I actually forgot that she had it and so when she seen me like ordering stuff for their bathroom and buying the paint she's like mom I really don't think I'm gonna repaint my room again so if you want the primer and the stuff that I have you can have it and I'm like okay you know I could use it when I do my dining room and the hallway and you guys know that right now I'm not in a rush to do the dining room in the hallway. Even though I know I need a dining room table, then I can have people over again or whatever. And we can start eating at the table again. But it's just not such a big rush for me to do. So my focus is on the bathroom. <laughs> so she brought it in my room. And last night it was like 1 a.m. I was up late. And I'm watching TV, falling asleep. And I kept looking at the primer, looking back at the TV, looking at the primer, looking back at the TV. I'm telling you guys, it was calling my name. It was like, Michelle, paint me, use me, come do stuff. And so at one o'clock in the morning last night, I got up and I started priming the walls and Savannah was still up or maybe she woke up, I don't know. She was like, mother, what are you doing? And I'm like, nothing to see here, move along, mind your business, just, you know, just go back in your room. <laughs> but um, she was like, mom, you are so obsessed. And I'm like, yeah, I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't wait till today, um, even though I'm gonna finish up today or try to finish up, but I just had to start last night. And the reason why I only made it as far as I did is because Cheyenne works on Saturdays and even though it wasn't a loud job to paint, I didn't wanna wake her up and bug her sleep you know by painting over there by her room so I am going to continue priming the walls today and I have bolted ceilings and some spots are really high or whatever and the way I'm gonna get that is I'm gonna have Tyreek help he doesn't know it yet but he's going to get up there to the spots where I can't reach and paint the really high spots for me so yeah um, this is actually going to force me to want to do my dining room in the hallway sooner than what I thought I would do it because I'm not gonna have primed walls for like a year like Savannah did in her room so yeah you guys I'm going to finish priming that and I know I need to get started in the bathroom but um, I'm waiting a little bit I'm still trying to I don't want to just jump in and start painting in my bathroom because, well, the kid's bathroom, because I want to make sure what I want is what is going to stay. And I don't want to change it in like a year or six months. And even though I don't use the bathroom, it doesn't matter. They're going to be grown and moved out. So I am painting it the way I want it to be. I was going to give them the choice to make a decision on how they wanted it, but they couldn't come to a decision equally because Tyreek didn't want no girly things, of course. And each of the girls wanted something different and so for years that's why their bathroom stayed like that because no one could make a decision on what theme or what colors they wanted or anything like that so I'm just making an executive decision I pay mortgage I'm gonna do what I want to do so yeah their rooms are totally different their rooms are on their own but yeah so that's my project today you guys priming I probably won't get through it all I only have that one in um, a primer um, I may go get some later today, it may not, but I'm going to use up what I have. And yeah, I know I've been rambling for a while, but yeah. So everywhere it's green, it's gonna be painted a different color. What color, I don't know yet, but um, all that up there, I'll have my son do. And then of course the really tall parts over there. Um, I can probably get over here with my ladder, but then it goes even higher up there. Turn the light on and up here in its little ledge or area whatever up there also so yeah you guys i'm gonna take all my little disney stuff down remember when i was trying to make this like a disney dining room and that idea died really quick and 
yeah, I'm going to get rid of this because we do not use the computer there. We all have our own laptops, so there's no reason for it to be there. So, yeah, all this is about to be primed. So you guys, this is my progress so far. <laughs> um, I didn't do that because that's higher up. And as you can see, as it comes down, it gets lower. So I was able to do that. I did bring my ladder in here, but the third step, that's my maximum. That's how far I'll feel comfortable going. I don't know if I told you guys, but I do have a fear of heights. So even that little bit, I would have to step up on the fourth um, stair on the ladder and that terrified me. So Tariq is not here right now. So I will wait till he gets back and then have him do the parts I can't do. And plus I'm way too afraid to get up there. And yeah, you guys, welcome to the insanity that's my life. So you guys, look what I remembered I had. So when my son painted his room, cause he has vaulted ceilings also in there, he had this to reach the high parts. And so I think I'll be able to do at least a little bit more. Yeah, I'm insane, I know. Whew, you guys, so I'm just taking a break. Uh, this is a lot of work, but I find this relaxing. I find it, I, it just makes me happy. Home improvements. It, just makes me happy if you guys are wondering okay so we can prime the walls and even the area where the ceiling is vaulted and everything but when it comes to painting how are you going to get up there and do it okay well me or my kids none of us are professional painters and in the bedroom my bedroom it was kind of different there's still that mark on the ceiling where Tyreek I'm about to say glue where he had um, paint on his finger and he touched one spot and it's still there and I just never took the time to um, get some white paint and put over that which now that I'm speaking of and I have this long extender stick thing I think I'll do that so if you were wondering how we're going to get it professional looking don't worry y'all I thought everything else there are two guys at my church who I think does construction and painting and things like this I can ask them but if not I have one other person in mind that I know for a fact works in this type of stuff. I'll ask him how much would he charge me to come in and only get the high spots. I don't want him to completely paint the room for me because I actually do enjoy this. And yeah, so you guys don't worry. Everything's gonna look good. I know it's kind of crazy right now. I'm thinking if I should paint my door, the inside of my door. I like the red on the outside of my door. I don't know if I told you guys that, if you guys know that on the outside of my door, it's red, but then inside, it's brown and then even the doors to Tyreek room on this side, I don't know. I may just leave it. Let me show you guys. It's a mess in here so ignore everything. But see how my door is that wood color? I was wondering if I should paint it once I get everything in here painted and see Tyreek's door, how it's that color. I was wondering once I paint everything in here, should I paint that. I don't know. That's the least of my worries right now, but yeah, I'm just taking a break. I'm almost out of the primer and I'm not going to get any more today. I'll probably do it after church tomorrow or Monday after work. I don't know, but I just wanted to finish using up what I had that Shine gave me. Okay. So Savannah walked out of her room and she's like, mom, this is insane. And she just started laughing. Yeah, I know. I know. And it's not even it's not even the project that I set out to do because I said I wasn't going to do my dining room right now because I just didn't have an uh, urgent need to. And now it's like, ooh, fun. Let's. But like I said earlier, this is going to make me do it because I am not going to walk around and have my walls looking like, well, not like this. This is the green paint. But I am not going to have my walls looking like this for months. No, 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 no. So I am done for now. I'm out of the primer. So that's as far as I got. And yeah, I still have these, I guess you call them pee pads that I got when Cody um, was a puppy. So yeah, this is as far as I got right now. And I'll continue on when I get some more primer, possibly tomorrow, like I said, or the next day. However, I did put a little primer right here because 
I don't know what color paint I want yet. I know you guys, I'm just like way ahead of myself. But I did it here because I want something to complement the brown that's already in the living room. And for now, the living room is going to stay this color. I'm getting that itching feeling to change the color, but it matches everything. So I know this is a bad angle, but the brown that's on the wall, it goes with everything. So for now, I will not touch that. So yeah, when I do decide on a paint shade <laughs> or a paint color, I'm going to put it here to see how it complements with this. So that's the reason why it's just like one strip of primer right there. But yeah, this is a lot, but it's so much fun. So I just got out of the shower, but I realized because my stomach started growling that I have not eaten today. It's already 1.30 and I told you guys I was up late priming the wall, so I am having Special K Red Berries cereal, and it's actually pretty good. All right, you guys, so it's much later. It's 7.30. I took a super long nap. I said I was only going to sleep for about an hour or so, and I woke up and the house was dark. <laughs> So, yeah, much needed sleep, especially after I was up last night painting. But I'm just now relaxing, um, watching the third season of a series of unfortunate events. I know it's been on a while, but I just didn't feel like watching it because I got, I got kind of like bored with it. And I'm at the point that I don't know what to watch right now, you guys. Finish Friends and... I still have things that I need to watch on my list. I need to go back to Grey's Anatomy and finish that up, but I just haven't, so I don't know. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, my late day. And I'm really excited. Today starts, do you guys remember the church event that we go to once a year it's called um landmark well they call it landmark it's at the stockton church christian life center and we go there every year it's huge i mean people really plan for this they come from all over the states they stay in hotels and this is just like a big deal in our church community and when i was at my other job i actually took off three days to go to this because i had time accrued and I was going to go to the ladies day on Thursday, but this time because I'm new at my job, I didn't even think to ask them to take this time off because of what happened. I just know I needed a job. So I won't be able to go to the ladies day on this Thursday. And it's not that far. Stockton is like 45 minutes away, but it's just tiring going to work all day long and then going to church after that so yeah better get going you guys